Hello friends, this is Worm, and I am back with another episode of Perk Forge today, the series where we talk about every single perk in Destiny 2, well, almost every single perk in Destiny 2, uh, and how we can potentially make them better, because a lot of perks in Destiny 2 are something that people just don't use, they don't like, they don't think they're, they're that great, and so we're going to talk about it, today we're going to talk about Air Assault. Air Assault, as it states here, it passively grants 10 airborne effectiveness, uh, and then it gives you plus 30 airborne effectiveness per stack for five seconds and you get a stack by getting a kill which is pretty self-explanatory getting an airborne kill will instantly grant two stacks of it so basically getting an airborne kill will instantly grant the weapon that you're using 60 uh airborne effectiveness which i think is you know that's reasonable that's a lot of airborne effectiveness and airborne effectiveness is a very important stat if you're going to be airborne unfortunately nobody uses this perk and i can kind of see why uh, I don't find air assault to be all that great on most weapons. Like, I don't find myself in the air enough to actually be using air assault. Like, I could put on an Icarus mod on my helmet, uh, you know, and, and some other stuff, you know, to, to tune my airborne effectiveness, and it will work just fine for me. So, air assault is over committing to such a situational, uh, you know, style of play but i do think that there is a way to make it better and i think that really the way to make air assault better is just give it a damage boost while you're in the air give it perhaps a 20 percent damage boost on top of what it has per stack so you got 20 percent for the first stack 40 percent for the second stack that way when you're in the air you're dealing more damage and i would say you could take it a step further and separate the pve and the pvp sandboxes and in pve give it even more of a damage boost okay that way because you know i think for most of us we're not in the air all that much inside pve right we will jump in the air occasionally you know things like air trigger which is actually listed right below air assault here on the data compendium but with air assault uh, we don't we're not in the air all that much i don't see warlocks using heat rises and icarus dashes up floating around in the sky all that much uh and so i think that having air assault give you a damage boost i would say you know maybe like a plus 60 percent damage boost like give it possibly one of the highest damage boosts in the game but of course in order to get that you know that boost going you have to be airborne and of course being airborne puts you at a number of different disadvantages uh, as well as some advantages so i think that doing that uh, in time in terms of pve i'm um, sorry pvp is a little bit more difficult to say what needs to and what doesn't need to be done in terms of the damage boost especially if you're only going to keep it at five seconds i think that shorter timers need to have a bigger damage boost like if it was like a 10 second timer for example maybe not as high of a damage boost or if it was if it was like a 15 20 second timer i would say it really doesn't need a damage boost it's giving you plenty or you know to chain together and whatnot but um i think that you know a damage boost would be really nice i mean it's in the name air assault might as well get an aerial damage boost while you're up in the sky you know because we're not spending much time up in the sky now the other thing that you could do uh for this perk if you don't want to do a damage boost you could also just increase its timer i think that five seconds is a ridiculously low amount of time to get that airborne effectiveness like in the crucible that's going to be very difficult to chain those together like uh, effectively i guess you know you could make an argument that you're running on the ground you can run and gun and and build those stacks up but at the same time it's not really helping you all that much you could also increase its passive airborne effectiveness like plus 20. i think that plus 20 passive airborne effectiveness would really put a lot of weapons that can roll with air assault in a better spot just flat out like as it is without having to get kills and stuff like that but those those are my ideas for air assault i think that it's it's I know where they're going with it. I know that they wanted to give players more ways to build into airborne accuracy. Uh, unfortunately, or airborne effectiveness, sorry. Unfortunately for air trigger, it is not, it's not really that good. And so it just needs a couple of tweaks to just make it a more viable option. Again, a damage boost when you're in the air would be a really nice option. Uh, but you could also increase the timer, uh, you know, and... Those are the two things I think it would need. I think that if you you shouldn't really do both, you could do a little bit of both, maybe increase the timer to like seven seconds at most if you're going to give it a damage boost. But yeah, with that being said, that's Air Assault. It's, it's a pretty niche perk. I think that this is, this is one of those perks that it's very, very niche. Like even if they build into it to make it meta, like it's still going to be niche because we're not in the air all that much. But because we're not in the air all that much, it should have those rewards 
associated with it. Similar to air trigger down here. Air trigger gives you a plus 30 reload speed and a times eight multi uh, reload speed multiplier, which is really fast. Like that is like outlaw speeds when you're in the air. Uh, and so I think the air trigger down here, pretty good option, but air assault doesn't have that same, uh, that same level of oomph to it. And really you could roll a bunch. You could start putting some weapons with air assault and air trigger in the third and fourth columns. That way you could start rolling with both. That way you're getting both to benefit that way you're building really into your you know into your airborne accuracy and stuff like that but or airborne effectiveness whatever it's the same thing anyways but with that being said that's really it i just wanted to talk about air assault those are the ideas that i have for it tell me what your ideas are to make air assault potentially better or what you think about my ideas uh and yeah that's it for me guys do me a favor drop a like it helps the channel out a lot subscribe for more daily destiny content conversations and discussions like this one and do me one more favor Watch the videos you see on the end screen here because for whatever reason YouTube thinks you'll like them. I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye for now.